And hello from Istanbul. We find ourselves in the Besiktas district, not too far from the Sultan Ahmet old town. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And Turkish Superliga action is what's on the menu today. It is Besiktas facing Galatasaray. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. The starting 11 for Besiktas. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre halves. So keep an eye out for that. Well, here's how it looks for Galatasaray. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. And the match begins. <laughs> Difficult to stop him. And a good looking ball. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Well, they fancy a short one. That's not a bad ball. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Pjanic. I'll say this looks promising. Getting ready is Mishi Batshuayi and clears his lines. Now well, that's a well timed pass. Pavo. Good looking cross. A deft clearance. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Pjanic. Now here's Gezal. Chance to run at them. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. And struggling to get the shot off. Shot blocked, but still alive. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently.
And now the delivery. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Montero. Batshuayi. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. taken but saved easily by the keeper and I think unfortunately for him the less said about that attempt the better well he had a lot of options there but he's chosen the wrong one that was a poor effort she called out Ryan Babel Bafetim Bigomis. And he saw the situation developing. Well, the hosts have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount oh, of... Oh, possession... Stuart, they must score! Well, the header was too high, but it was close. Anholt. This might have potential, but quick thinking defensively. Can he convert? And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. He's driven in the corner. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Gezal. Adam Yaich. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? The clearance wasn't decisive. And problem solved for now. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Surely! And getting across to stop it. Delivering it. Simple save, really. Just not looking confident in possession. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, a goal! They strike first, and what a way to silence the crowd! Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And it's a very tidy finish because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. That is that for the first half here. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart.
Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Ryan Babel. Well, they might be onto something. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two goal lead now. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Well, a second goal for them here. Gazelle. Good visualization and execution. Still a chance. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Well, what a brilliant save that was. I can't believe he's kept that one out. Batshuayi. Oh, he looks threatening. Batshuayi. Tremendous block. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest! Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. And into the last 30 minutes now. Well, they know they need to stop him. And Anholt. Turan. And a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Now sending it in. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Teixeira. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Not giving him a moment's peace. Well, no surprise there. Galatasaray have been second best in terms of possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Well, the pass not finding its target. Can he put it away? Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Well, this game will shortly be history and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your take.
Well, if they want to get something from this game, they need to start getting the ball into the box that little bit quicker and get players attacking the ball. Otherwise, this game will just slip away from them. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Oh, a good diving save. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. And short it is. Crossing into the middle. Something to worry about here. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, what can we say? All's well that ends well. Well, he's just about recovered the situation. That could have been very embarrassing. Throw-ins given. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, Still, the prospect of late excitement in this match. Not an especially strong challenge. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. On the attack in the closing phase. Mustafa Mohamed. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Excellent challenge. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Textbook defending inside the box. Babo. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. This could finish it. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And over comes the corner. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. struggling to get the shot off well can he convert and oh, that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger And getting across to stop it. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, a goal! They strike first, and what a way to silence the crowd. Ryan Babel. Well, they might be onto something. to increase their advantage it's a two goal lead now that's Ray and it's in this game very much back on as a contest oh a good diving save 
If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story.